Mark Hoyer, Editor-in-Chief of Soccer World Magazine here with Road Test Editor Don Kinney. Where's here? Here is Spring Mountain Motorsports Park East Loop. It's a 2.1 mile track with a couple different configurations. We are here to test this pair of V-Twin Superbikes. The Italian entry is the Ducati 1199 Panigale. It's a standard model. Uh, we picked a standard model because its MSRP is the same as this yellow bike over here, which is an EBR 1190RX built in Wisconsin. The American V-Twin Superbike returns. So we're gonna hit the track and uh, get started testing. Our morning session was spent getting familiar with the track and setting up the bikes while using the stock Pirelli tires. Initially, the EBR's mid-range rich 161 horsepower engine was a bit easier to use than the Ducati's peakier 167 horse mill. But both would drive hard off corners. And the chassis of both machines offered loads of grip with predictable, precise steering. Unfortunately, the EBR's signature front rim brake had a manufacturing flaw on the ground surface, leading to a vibration while trail braking that didn't affect stopping distance but was distracting on quarter entries. After this test, we got a replacement disc from the EBR and performance was normal. No such troubles with the Panigale's excellent Brembo setup. In order to see how these bikes truly stacked up, we swapped tires to Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa SPs and we got down to the business of time lapse. The EBR's handling was confidence inspiring and stable, and a bit less knife edge feeling than that of the Ducati. It also offered slightly better front end feel. The tractable and abundant power gave excellent drives on exit, though we missed having a factory quick shifter. Traction control intervention was a bit less smooth than on the Ducati. Also, the very heavy clutch pull combined with less than ideal slipper clutch action make corner entries a bit less settled than we like. Breaking hard down to the apex was quite a bit easier on the Panigale thanks to the lower effort, higher feel twin Brembo setup, excellent slipper clutch, and tunable engine braking control. It was slightly less stable in hard braking and a bit more sensitive to throttle application due to its snappy power and lower crank inertia, but once you sighted your exit and let the superb traction control do its work, it was game on. After a full day at the track, Lap times were exceptionally close, with the Panigale edging the EBR by just 0.15 seconds. With the EBR's brake issues lingering in our minds and after crunching all our data, the conclusion here is a bit inconclusive. EBR and its little factory in Wisconsin has built a world-class V-Twin Superbike that has successfully taken on one of the biggest players in the game. But we give the Ducati the win by a hair based on its slightly better lap time and all the highly refined electronic features that help the rider go incredibly fast with even less effort. Still, it's astounding how close these bikes are in terms of performance. And clearly, the battle is just beginning.